everyone, my name is Ella and I'm the Plants Meow and welcome to my channel. So today I'm actually going to be doing a little bit of a different video. So in this video in particular, I'm going to be talking about air purifiers and if they can really kind of help your plant room. So a while back when I first set up my plant room, I actually put my own personal air purifier in here because I was worried about humidity levels. So a lot of the times one of our biggest concerns as a plant parent is the humidity levels in our home. These are indoor spaces. I believe anything above 55% can cause mold spores. And that was just a little bit scary to me. <laughs> So I had it in here for a while, but I decided eventually to move it out of here because it was quite a pricey one. So I wanted to use it for its intended purpose, which was purifying our bedroom. I like to have a clean bedroom sleeping area space, <laughs> especially in terms of allergies. It's a room you obviously spend a lot of time in. So the concern of mine didn't go away. I still had it. And when winter hit, it grew because honestly in winter we're running our humidifiers a lot more. There's a lot more probability this could happen. My plant room, I keep the door closed. I do keep a fan running at all times. Other than that, there's nothing really else to prevent, I guess, kind of any kind of mold growth. That was concerning. It hasn't been a problem, which is fantastic, but the concern was definitely present. So I definitely jumped out the opportunity when this company very generously offered to send me this air purifier called OK Sue. They actually really kindly let me pick between two models. I picked the bigger one just because I know it was going to be <laughs> because it's always been a concern of mine. So that is something I definitely jumped at. So an air purifier will not dry out your space and that is awesome. So you can purify the air without harming the moisture that's in it. That's pretty much really big for me. And they're great because not only do they really take out the mold spores in the air, but they also take out just dust and dander and pet hair. And I have a ton of cats. Like, Nina girl, one of you, you're making me look bad. Girl, oh girl. Like pretty much always have one in arms length reach. They are my little fur babies and they love my plant room. If there was just something in here to just clean the air a bit more with all the stuff that I do have, I think that's just a great idea. So I was really excited to try this out and I'm actually going to be reviewing it and tell you my thoughts in this video. So right now I'm just going to switch to me opening it and then setting it up. So I just received this air purifier here and it was packaged really well. It looks like it's just one big piece, so there's not gonna be any assembly. So, looks pretty straightforward so far. Okay, so for the sake of this little experiment, I'm kinda gonna leave it slightly in the center, not too close to a wall. So, I read the manual, and it does have a disclosure about wet and humid environments, but it seems like the only issue with that is that to not get moisture on your outlet plug, so I think as long as you don't have it right by a humidifier, you'll be okay. So it does just say a warning about that. So we've got these two filters here. Actually, I think there might be a third too. Oh no, just the fan, okay. Ooh, wow, that's legit. <laughs> so I'm just gonna unpackage these really quickly. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of put them back how I found them. So this orange side goes in first and tab facing out on top. Oh gosh, I'm a clumsy recording and doing this. It's a bit more difficult. <laughs> and same here. All right. So as you can tell, the filter is very white. I'm curious to see by the next week, really, what accumulates here. So I'm just gonna kind of show you really quickly kind of how to use it. So it's so stinking easy. Like it's not complicated to figure out at all. So first we just have the power button. So as soon as that turns on, that's really all you gotta do if you have the settings you want. So these are the different speed levels. You got your low, your medium, your high. I always keep it on high. I don't have a problem keeping it on high because I want to get, get the most cleanliness out of this room. You can also put it on sleep mode or a timer. I don't do that because it's not like I stay in this room, so it doesn't bother me if it's running all night. 
And personally, I have one in my room that I run at night and it's kind of just like white noise. <laughs> I've never been a white noise person, but when I put the one in my room, when it's off, I have a really difficult time sleeping without it now. So that's kind of annoying, but <laughs> there's just something about it. So yeah, that's seriously it. That's just everything, like super easy. So I'm just gonna turn it off right now and I'm basically just gonna show you the results of what it looks like inside. It's been about two weeks, I think, maybe a week and a half, I think two weeks though. So through this end, looks pretty normal. I've got like a tuft of cat hair here, which I guess it's just trying to suck it in. So when we open it up, there's some interesting finds. I've actually got some dead fungus gnats just kind of in there, which is kind of gross, but cool because it's nice that there's something additionally here that kills them. I guess it just sucks them in. That's kind of weird. I didn't expect to find any kind of fungus gnats in here. Also, I thought they were all gone. So this makes me realize I kind of still have a problem. <laughs> and I've got, if you can tell on the side here, just a lot of cat hair. So that's pretty cool knowing that it's working and doing that. But really like, who would have thought the fungus mats? <laughs> like, is that like normal? <laughs> All right, and let me see. I'm not sure if anything will be on this side. Got some fungus gnats in the crevices. Fungus gnats that have made it to the second layer, which I don't know how. This is so weird. But so far, like, it's definitely not as clear or as white as the day that I plugged it in. And that's pretty awesome that it's able to capture that much. Obviously, I wouldn't know what a mold spore looked like or if I really had any in the room at the time, but I think it's convenient that if I were to get them, that this is something that would help to purify my air and prevent that. It's actually has a lot more on it than I thought it would. I try to keep this room clean, including the hair, but it still managed to catch a lot within the two weeks. And that's really surprising. This particular model, I don't know if I mentioned, I know it's the OKSU OK and it's the Air Max 8L. I really, really like that I can kind of just sit it on the floor and it's super lightweight, like, and it works really well. It also fits my aesthetic pretty well. So it has, whoop, turn it on. So we got black and we got white and I really like that. But so easy, like I just turn it on and I leave it on constantly as well as my fan over there. So I really just don't have to worry. Now, if I ever did get a mold problem in here because of my plants, I don't know if an air purifier would solve it. I don't know everything about air purifiers, but I know they're definitely helpful in preventing that. So I think with my fan and my air purifier, making sure the air circulation's good in here, keeping the air pretty much purified, that I'm at a chance much a much less of a chance at getting something like that. I personally feel much more comfortable knowing I have an air purifier here in my house. It's not for everyone. I completely understand that. But I do urge you, especially if you do have pets because it's an additional benefit, I encourage you to look into getting one. I think this one's really fantastic personally. I love the price point. I think I really wouldn't want to pay something really expensive just for my plant room. <laughs> when it comes to like the health of Chris and I, that is the reason we have it in our bedroom. Would I put this one in my bedroom? I would definitely would. If I didn't have the one I have now, I wouldn't have a problem with doing that. In fact, I'm just really impressed with the amount of stuff this one picked up. My more expensive one that I have in my bedroom, when I actually changed out its filter when it said it needed changing, didn't have like a crazy amount of stuff. And this one after two weeks has a lot in it. And I'm actually really surprised at that. So like I said, it does get your pet hair, but it also gets the pet dander and any kind of just smells in your air, it completely just purifies that. So if you have any issues, with maybe smells of like smoke or if you're growing flowers and they got pollen, it helps to purify pollen. And actually 
It also helps to cycle out the dust in the air. So I noticed I have much less dust in my plant room, which isn't something that bothered me too much, but it's kind of nice to not have to worry as often about the dust accumulation in here. I feel like a lot of that stuff is something that concerns me in terms of I don't want a ton of dust in my plant room. I want my plants to be as clean as possible. And I do clean them down, but it's kind of nice to kind of have a little bit of a helper without kind of having to worry about that. So it kind of just hits a lot of boxes for me. So I really like having that in here. And really it's just food for thought for you to consider. You don't have to get one, obviously, but if you do, this is definitely a great model to choose. I love the inexpensive part and the just forget about it technology because I like that so much. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely nice. Yeah, it's definitely something that I will pretty much forever leave in my plant room. I don't have any intentions of removing it. I don't think it would ever have any ad adverse effects in here. I don't know why it would. So I do want to note one more thing. So with air purifiers, even if you have them on the highest setting, what they're doing right now is not drying the air. So if you ever had a dehumidifier, you know they come with a container for moisture in order to capture that moisture. Here, there's nothing for that. It does not take moisture out of the air. It simply just cycles what is in the air. So I do want to let you know that if you do put an air purifier near your plants, I wouldn't suggest putting them directly just because of all the direct kind of air circulation contact, but it's not going to dry out your air. So it'll still be humid in a humid room with an air purifier. It's just something that definitely makes me feel more comfortable. So I'm actually curious to hear what you guys think about air purifiers and air purifiers around your plants. So I know a lot of people might say, oh, plants purify the air already. Okay, plants <laughs> through photosynthesis, they may do a little bit of that, but you would have to have a serious amount of plants in order to really purify your air. And if you were to ever have any kind of issue like with mold, your plants aren't gonna be able to stop that. And also your air purifier gets a lot more out of the air than just what your plants would, which is probably about some smells. <laughs> so your air purifier is definitely doing a lot more. <laughs> so let me know if you have one, your thoughts, if you like this video, I thought it would be a neat thing to try out one of these and kind of just see like the results in my plant room. It's actually been something that I've been wanting to experiment with a while now. So I was actually really excited when they reached out to me. I'm completely in love with this product. So yeah, <laughs> thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more content, please subscribe. I do post a video every Wednesday. Thank you so much for watching.